Okay, so we're going to talk about how to solve a system of equations through graphing. Basically, you're going to graph and find the intersection point. It really is that simple. So if I have two lines, and the first one is y equals 2x, I'm just going to type that in. And if the second one is y equals negative 2x plus 8, this intersection point is the solution to the system. So for this particular system, our answer is x equals 2 and y equals 4. Sorry, I don't know why that zoomed out. Okay, x equals 2 and y equals 4 are the coordinate point to 4. That is the x and the y that works in both of these systems. That's our intersection point. And you can use Desmos to find it. So you just need to find that point. So if I do another one, um, again, one of the advantages to this is our equations do not have to be in slope intercept form. That's what's going to be nice about these. So I could do um, 2x minus y equals negative 5 and then negative 2x minus y equals negative 1. Again, right there, there's my intersection point, so that answer is negative 1, 3. You will have some answers that are fractions and decimals. I just want you to know it won't always be whole numbers, but that's really all you have to do. Now, there are times when we will have um, no solution or infinitely many. So let's talk about what that looks like. Okay, so let's say I have this equation 3x plus y equals 2. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I also want the equation 4y equals 12 minus 12x. Okay, so if I zoom in on this and move it, what you can see is that these lines are never, ever, ever going to cross. They are parallel lines, okay? In fact, if you were to solve these and put them in slope-intercept form, you would find that they have the same slope, okay? These are parallel lines, um, which means they will never, ever intersect. And remember, if our solution is an intersection point and there is no intersection point, that means there is no solution. So parallel lines mean that these lines will never cross, there is never going to be an x and a y that work in both these equations. So this is an example of no solution. Okay, so graphically, no solution is parallel lines. You do have to be careful on a graph, though. Zoom out and make sure that they are, in fact, parallel. Sometimes with certain graphs, they look parallel just where you're looking, but if you zoom out, you will see that they do eventually cross. Um, one way to know that is same slope. If they have the same slope, they are definitely parallel, so no solution. Okay, the other idea is the infinitely many. Again, we've dealt with this with solving equations and solving inequalities, so it's the same idea um, with a system. So if I have y equals 2x minus 2 and then 2y oops, equals 4x minus, oops, 4x minus 4. As you can see, as I zoom out and I move the graph, you really only see one line, okay? That's because these are the same line and one is on top of the other. So if I shut this green line off, you see the blue line. If I turn it on, you see only the green. If I shut blue, you see only the green. So what's happening is one line is falling on top of the other. These are the exact same line. In fact, if I solve this one for y, I'm going to get y equals 2x minus 2. They are the exact same line, the exact same equation. So because they're lying on top of each other, they are intersecting at infinitely many points. So the answer here is infinitely many solutions. So in summary, all you have to do is graph, find your intersection point. If you have parallel lines, it's no solution. And if you have one line on top of the other, you have infinitely many.